Garrett Cole right now is pitching as well as anybody in Major League Baseball. Over his last uh, handful of starts, he's pitching to about a 1.3 earned run average. He has never beaten the Rays, though. He's 0-2 with an ERA, though, under three still. 0-2, swing and a miss. Got him on an off-speed pitch. And Sogard is the first out of the ball game. 99 offered at just off the plate by Meadows, and that's strikeout number two. Cole off and racing tonight. He got him that time. Wow. Throws him on the slider on the inside corner, and Garrett Cole has struck out the side to start this game. Left-hander Ryan Yarbrough is on the mound for the Tampa Bay Rays. Last 12 starts have been extra special for Yarbrough. 1.48 ERA in 61 innings. He has 59 strikeouts and four walks. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and he went up and in with another one. That's only 84 miles an hour, but the swing looked like it was late as if it was 94. Two balls, two strikes. Randley swings and misses weekly strike three, and how about that first inning for Ryan Yarbrough? He made Springer, Altuve, and Brantley all look pretty bad. Three balls, two strikes to G-Mon Choi. Cole's pitch high, ball four, and the Rays get a leadoff walk. That's going to be a balk called on Garrett Cole. After the strike to Avisio Garcia, Cole balks the runner over to second base. This one in the dirt, and Maldonado for a moment couldn't find it, and that gives Choi an opportunity to move to third. So a wild pitch charged to Cole, and the Rays have a runner at third base. With only one out, a scoreless ball game. And a fly ball into right field. Springer's going to go back to make the catch. Tagged by Choi. He's headed to the plate. That throw is not in time, and the Rays get the first run. Outfield shaded the other way against Adamas, the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Got him on a breaking ball, and that's five strikeouts for Cole. Inning over. But the Rays get a run on Wendell Sack fly, and through one and a half, Rays won. Astros nothing. That'll bring up Tommy Pham. Tommy Pham chops it toward the hole. It's going to be off the glove of Diaz out into shallow left, and Pham picks up a hit. So one hit total between the two teams in the fourth inning. That'll bring up G Man Choi, who scored the game's only run. And a high fly ball. Well tagged into right center field. That baby's gone. Home run for G Man Choi. Two-run blast, and the Rays take a 3 nothing lead. It's number 12 for Choi. It's been the G-Man Choi show. I mean, that first at-bat got things going, and then able to get the barrel to the baseball. Here's Alex Bregman. Tampa Bay will draw the infield in tight with Altuve on third base. There's a base hit into right field. That will score Altuve. Alex Bregman has singled to right. It's a 3-1 to one game as Bregman drives in his 91st run of the year. It's Bregman on first base. So here's Yuli Gurriel. Into right field, Meadows going back, still going back on! Yuli Gurriel! A two-run opposite field home run to tie the game at three. Keeps adding to that career season. Home run number 27 on the year. RBI's 94 and 95. Meadows waiting for a 2-2. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, 99, top of the zone. That is strikeout number 10 for Garrett Cole. He becomes the new leader in franchise history with 15 games of 10 strikeouts or more, surpassing the mark set twice by the flame-throwing J.R. Richard. Joey Wendell, a leadoff triple, first hit allowed by Garrett Cole in the seventh inning or later in any game. Here's Jesus Aguilar. He is 0 for 2 with a ground out and a flyout. Wendell leads at third base. Round ball, that's going to go through the drawn at infield. Here comes Wendell and the Rays lead 4-3. to three. Bouncing ball into left for Aguilar to give the Rays the lead. Two balls and two strikes. Strikes out Zanino. 14 strikeouts for Garrett Cole. That matches his season high. Cole's not going to like when he turns around because out of the dugout has come his manager, A.J. Hinch. Garrett will leave with 14 strikeouts tonight and a huge hand from the crowd. Ely Gurriel, the tying run, draws a walk to start the bottom half of the seventh inning. He will let Miss Diaz do up. Ely on the move, and the ball ripped over the line dead in left field. This is a fair ball. Ely heading to third. He'll be waved home. Ely with the relay throw coming home safe. Double clutch by Adamas, and Ely ahead first line to tie it at four. If there's two on. With one out here. So here is George Springer in it. Little flare beyond second. That's going to drop. Maldonado on the move. Scores the go-ahead run. It's 5-4. to four. On the ground towards short. 
to second for one and a high throw that gets away into the dugout. Astros are going to get a run. Wow. Sogard parachuted a throw. It's six to four, Houston. And so the intentional walk is low to the bases for Martin Maldonado. Line drive, base hit, right field. In comes Bregman. Jordan being held up. Astros lead seven to four on the RBI single by Martin Maldonado. There's a high shot back into left field all the way back and that ball is going to carry out of here. Home run for Willie Adamas and that will make it an 8 6 ball game. And the Astros fans will get on their feet looking for a six consecutive win. Got him. Ball game over. Roberto Asuna strikes out Zanino to end the game.